This is Colette. I've used mixed media techniques for quite some time on my cards and I thought it was about time I applied them to a canvas. I wanted to share my journey on this boho inspired 10 inch by 10 inch canvas. First of all I want to add some texture to my canvas. I found this sticky backed tape at Bunnings which is a local hardware store here in Australia. It's very easy to apply and I think they use it for applying tiles. Next I'm using a designer template from Kaiser Craft. This is called Feathers and I'm applying some texture paste with an angled palette knife. You'll notice I'm putting a generous amount of texture paste on to the template. I'm now going to take a straight palette knife and scrape away the excess, popping it back into the jar. This is a great way to clean up those templates. I'm now taking another designer template from Kaiser Craft. This one is called Script. And again, I'm applying template in other areas of my canvas. You'll notice I've actually gone over some of the feather texture paste. I haven't pressed too hard so I haven't done too much damage. I'm not too worried about it not looking perfect. This is the Damask Quarter template from Kaiser Craft. it's hanging over the edge just scrape away with your palette knife dry it off with a heat gun or leave it to dry naturally so here's my first base of texture paste on my canvas now I'm using some of the wooden flourishes if you don't have wooden flourishes you can die cut some of um, some pieces of card stick them together and that will give you a nice bit of texture on your canvas too so Kaiser Craft do a wonderful range of wooden flourishes and I'm just arranging some different ones that I have on the canvas until I get a kind of a look that I'm happy with. The next stage is I'm getting some acid free craft glue from Kaiser Craft and I'm putting some down on my Teflon mat and I'm going to pick it up with a paintbrush. I find this is a great way to apply adhesive to intricate items like these wooden flourishes. This is a great craft glue, it actually dries clear, dries quickly, is water based so it's a great clean up glue and of course it's acid free. Next I'm applying a coat of white gesso on the top of each of my wooden flourishes. This will enable um, my next layer of colour to sit nicely on top and it won't be um, I guess sucked into the wood. In other words the gesso provides a protective coat.
You'll notice I've got a few spots of glue. That's because I didn't clean off my template properly from the last time I used it. But as they say, no mistakes in craft. I'm simply going over those spots of glue with the white gesso. I like to use a sponge bus brush for this. It just picks up a little bit of paint. Next is the Kaiser Mists. We're going to add color. Give them a good shake up. Make sure you've got all that shimmery goodness from the bottom and start spritzing. I'm using the turquoise first, followed by the lime green, then the denim blue, I've now got a gold shimmer paste from Color Blast because I haven't got a, a gold just yet. And finally the yellow. <coughs> Excuse me. <coughs> Let that dry. And now I'm taking some of the turquoise and just popping it down on my craft mat here, the Teflon craft mat. And with a fine print brush, I'm getting into the little grooves of the flourishes where the, where the actual misting has not taken. So getting rid of those little white edges that have been left behind. The next stage is I'm taking a, a wider brush and popping it straight into the bottle of mist and I'm putting a layer on the edges. Now of course if you wanted you could put texture paste using templates on the edges and paint it over those in the same manner. Next I've taken one of my favourite little stamps and this is the background script stamp from Kaiser Craft and I've, I'm using some of the avocado ink pad from Kaiser Craft and I'm just adding yet again another layer of texture um, by randomly stamping some of the text onto my page. It's a bit difficult to see in the camera but it does look really effective. Now I'm using some of the beautiful white flowers, the big blooms and the mini blooms. And I'm just ran randomly positioning them where I think I might like them. There's some of the little flat flowers from Kaiser Craft. These are great little leaves. I've used these from the foliage dye from Kaiser Craft. I love this dye. One pass and I've got all these yummy little leaves to actually use as I want. Again, I'm just applying these um, with a bit of glue on the bottom and I'm slipping them behind the flowers. These are stamens and I do like to use these in many of my projects. Again, just chopping them a little bit smaller and putting them into this little uh, flower cluster in the same way that I put the leaves in. Again, it just adds a bit more interest and more dimension. So here's my flower cluster. I'm quite happy with how that looks. So I'm now going to take some of the um, lemon, or sorry, yellow, Kaiser Mist and I'm just spraying that to colour that top corner. Drying it off and there we have my finished canvas.